The music world is reeling from another stunning loss. With last night's sad news about Taylor Hawkins, longtime drummer for the Foo Fighters. Back in the early 90s, we used to bump into Hawkins, usually in front of the vending machines, at downtown rehearsal, this old warehouse in a decaying section of Los Angeles that was converted into rehearsal space for local bands. Hawkins was always cool and friendly, and we were happy to see him soon make it big. He was only 50 years old, and, surprise, no cause of death has been given. The Foo Fighters were finishing up the last few dates of a South American tour. His family wants privacy, and our thoughts and prayers go out to them on what must be the worst day of their lives. That being said, Taylor Hawkins was a public figure, a leading rock musician in an iconic band, a colorful industry, and notorious. But in this case, we will probably never know what happened whether the Star Whackers were at it again, or the Red Scarf Brigade, a sudden-onset heart episode, or possibly fentanyl, a miserable poison which has claimed the lives of Prince, Tom Petty, and so many others. Now, I know I shouldn't be speculating on the cause of death because I am not a forensic pathologist, but how do I know if he's even really dead? I'm not a physician. And just what is life and death anyway? Why are we here? What's it all about? Hell if I know. I'm not a philosopher. But I do know that things are getting weirder by the day on this third stone from the sun, and the heavens are rocking out a whole lot harder. Rest in peace, Taylor Hawkins. After Arts, out.